hello families and welcome back to the channel this is a place for farm owners farm lovers agripreneurs looking for ways to make profit from their farm and also thinking of starting up an agribusiness so welcome if you've been following the series of this video the way i've been dropping it back to back you notice that i've been talking about mistakes in agribusiness mistakes that people make when it comes to agribusiness and today i'll be talking about the five red flags in agribusiness five red flags you should watch out for or the five mistakes you shouldn't make yes if you make any of this it is a red flag in agricultural business okay this video was inspired by the i think is a new trend the red flags so i decided to do the red flag for agricultural business so that when you're starting you know what you should look out for when starting up an agribusiness or what you should avoid when starting an agribusiness okay so let's dive in but before we dive in if you've been enjoying my content and you haven't clicked the subscribe button or turn on your bell make sure you do so right now the first red flag in agricultural business is you not doing the thorough market research i have to put this one as number one as the number one red flag if you're thinking of going into agricultural business if you are thinking of going to agribusiness generally and you don't want to do your market research please don't go into it at all that is a red flag it's important you do thorough market research it's not just about you doing your online research oh this particular crop is profitable the set is profitable this animal is profitable this commodity is profitable this aspect of agriculture is profitable okay let me go into it after reading it online go to your local market do your market research offline as well this is important because agriculture is not you cannot learn agriculture online in fact you cannot learn agribusiness online agribusiness requires you to go to the market the market is what will determine the price the cost of the commodity or anything you want to go into so it is a red flag if you don't do a thorough market research how to put the word thorough there so that you know that you have to do it okay so that is the first red flag if you don't do a thorough market research that is the way to failure the next red flag is you investing into a commodity into a produce in something without proper knowledge ha. it's just like you not doing your market research maybe you've just glanced through and you're not doing you don't have the like the the proper knowledge maybe you just have the glimpse of what it looks like but you don't have the proper knowledge of it and you're going into it don't let me share the story i said in my last video that i'll be sharing my mistakes in agribusiness i will still share that um, content i will still share that details so you people can understand what is going on see do not invest your money in something you don't have proper knowledge about if you have a proper knowledge about something you can go ahead but if you don't have the proper knowledge about the commodity the produce the animal the anything or the anything you want to go into and you're starting it it's a problem please do not invest in it without proper knowledge proper knowledge and marketing is the key factor and talking about marketing this is why we've created a marketplace see creating that marketplace is because i know that one issue that people will face or people will keep facing when it comes to agriculture when i say agriculture i mean every single thing about agriculture i'm not talking about farming alone i'm talking about the ebook the agri every single thing about agriculture is marketing because everything about agriculture has to do with sales and that's why we created the fan app that platform is where you should stay or stick around on 247 because that is the market if you want to know the price of commodity the current price of commodity you want to connect with other farmers other agripreneurs that is where you should be so talking about marketing we have found we've done that aspect for you once you've confirmed the online price on the fan app you can go to your local market to confirm the offline price as well so what we do there is i go outside confirm the price know the current price of commodities and upload it on the platform every single month and once we notice that there's price change we change it as well so we've sorted that out for you Parallel knowledge i can give you all the details i can share the ones i know but you still need to go out there to make your own research and get proper knowledge on the crop or anything you want to go into and also farming or agriculture is a practical stuff 
it's not something that you, you you learn once okay you keep learning every single day with our fan app we keep learning and that's why you see we keep making changes we keep bringing version one version two like that and like that okay the third red flag is you ignoring the role of mentorship you you think you don't need someone to guide you oh i was in that scenario at a point see i'm just going to share it in that video that i'm about to shoot i thought i knew it all i didn't need someone to tell me what to do like see you cannot you cannot remove the role of a mentor when it comes to agribusiness you need someone to hold you like this and guide you hand in hand if not you will flop so after your proper knowledge you still need someone that have gone through that scenario you still need someone that have passed through that path to guide you if you ignore the role of mentorship ha, my brothers and my sister you're about to lose fun so don't think you know it all even me i still have people i look up to i still have people not like copy but i look up to them and i have people that look up to me as well so you cannot ignore the role of mentorship if you ignore it as on that third red flag in agribusiness the fourth red flag i don't know why i didn't keep this one as number one the fourth red flag in agribusiness is you not focusing on one thing at a time Agricultural business is very profitable if done right. And now I see why people tend to do multiple things so that they can quickly get all the money that is involved, all the money that is there. Once, I, once you have that mindset that you want to do everything to get all the money, you will end up getting nothing. You will end up getting what? Nothing. That is one thing about agricultural business. You need to focus on one thing at a time. Don't stop palm oil now. And when I say it's time for a goosey, you've not sold your palm oil. You are storing a goosey. When I say it's time for let us plant plantain or let us do plantain trading, you carry money again. You allow one to done. I don't know if there's a word like done. You allow one to be settled. You will finish one first before you go into another. Finish one, make sure that one is successful before you do another thing. Don't do multiple things. At the long run, it doesn't favor anybody. It doesn't favor you. Especially newbies, it will not favor you. Do not do multiple things. Start with one, make that one successful and grow. And that's why you see that um, with the fan app, we are focusing more on the fan app because that is where we want to channel our energy to the marketing aspect of agriculture. Do you understand? And that's why I see we keep promoting the fan app even on the fan YouTube channel. Do you understand? So it's important to focus on one thing, make that thing successful before you move to the other thing. Okay, same applies to those that are into the farming aspect, the tilling of ground and the rest. Focus on one crop at a time. Focus on one animal at a time. Don't just do multiple things. If you do multiple things, you might end up losing or burning your hands in the process, okay? So it's important you focus on one thing at a time. And finally, the last red flag that I have here is you quitting your job to go into agriculture, to go into farming, to go into agribusiness without first testing waters. See, everything I listed here, I've made the mistake and I will talk about it. I'll maybe I'll pick a day and do story time and tell you the story. See, if you want to hear that story, let me know in the comment section. I want to know those, I want to hear the mistakes that I've made. Let me know in the comment section. See, do not quit your job, especially if you are new, you've not tested the ground to start agriculture, farming, agri business, or any aspect at all. It is not funny. What I would advise is look for ways that you can balance whatever you are doing to make money. Because you might think you have enough savings that will last you till that particular thing start bringing money. And you, you, you will just exceed your savings without even making money. Don't let me go into details. I will tell you the details once I'm talking about the mistakes I made in agribusiness. But do not quit your job to start an agribusiness without testing ground. It's important to test ground gradually gradually once it has started bringing money little by little for you then you can decide to quit but if not do not don't try it quit your job to start an agribusiness or farming okay i hope you got value i hope you've learned one or two things on a serious note i hope you've learned one or two things from this video it is very very important please everything i've listed here is the red flags in agribusiness we have more so if there's anyone you want to add please leave it in the comment section so that people can learn from it 
as well if it got value you know what to do smash the like button smash the subscribe button and i'm going to see you in my next video and this next video is where i'll be talking about the mistakes i made in agribusiness i think i'm going to do that series it will be like four videos in that series so you guys will know that i've made mistakes if i'm talking i know where the issue hurts so if i'm if you're consulting if you're meeting me for consultation i know what you want to tell me already okay so that's what i'll be talking about in the next video so make sure you stick around click the subscribe button smash the like button turn on your notification bell and i'll see you in my next video